Hey everybody. So in this video, we're gonna build a full stack chat application using React.js and Spring Boot. And good news, this is without a doubt the best looking chat app on YouTube for Spring. So let me show you how it works. When you log in or sign up, the user is fetched from the database along with all of their chat histories. And this is real time chat. So any new messages appear immediately for other users in their browser. And this app has a whole lot more, like image and file support, desktop and mobile support, group chat and one-on-one -on -one chat support, read receipts, like the whole nine yards. So you're probably wondering, how can we actually build a high quality full stack chat app in a seven to 10 minute YouTube video? The reason is because the initial setup is so easy, it actually only takes one to two minutes. What we're gonna do is use a third-party chat API called chatengine.io. And this is gonna host all of our message histories, chat rooms, WebSocket connections, like everything. And on the back end, we're gonna use some Spring API calls to add our users to this chat API. And then on the front end in React, we're gonna install one of their pre-built NPM components and instantiate it on the front end and we're done. So this is how we're gonna be able to set up a project so quickly and without any further ado, let's get started. So before we start writing actual code, let's take another 30 seconds to understand the architecture of what we're building. So to start, I'm gonna provide you with a client React project and a server Spring project. And what we're gonna do is add chat functionality to it. In step one, we're gonna set up a separate chat server, which is gonna host all of our message histories, WebSocket connections, etc. And this server is gonna be powered by chatengine.io. In step two, we're gonna add API calls to our Spring server so that whenever a user signs up or logs in, we create a user on Chat Engine or fetch that user from Chat Engine to make sure they exist. And then in step three, on the React front end, we're gonna create a chats page and use one of their pre-built UIs to connect our client, our React client, to Chat Engine and then host all of our chat messages on their infrastructure. This is how we're able to set up a chat so quickly. And in the next sections, I'm gonna provide you the exact Java and React code that you'll need to complete this project super quickly. So let's get into it. Let's start building this project now. Our first step is to set up a third party chat service, which our users can access. So go to chatengine.io, the links in the description, sign up and create your first project. When you create your first project, what chat engine is going to do is give you your own chat server to host all of your chat rooms, your message histories, etc. We'll need to copy the project ID because our API calls will use the project ID to identify our server. We'll also need the private key because it will give our API calls permission to create and destroy users. So with that in mind, let's hop into the Spring code base and add the code we need to give all our users access to this chat server. For the second step, let's add all the Java code we need to our Spring Boot app to connect all of our users to Chat Engine. To follow along, you can either clone this full stack pro chat project, which is the second link in the description, or follow along with your own Spring Boot project. So let me explain the code. All I did is I added one Java file right next to the main Java file within source main, and I called it user controller. And all this user controller does is have two routes, one for logging in with a post method and one for signing up with a post method. And I'll explain the code in each now. So when you log in, all we do is make a get request to this chat engine API route. And we add the headers to see if a user with this username in this secret exists in this project that we just set up. If the user does exist, we essentially use a string builder to generate that response, map it to JSON and return it with an HTTP status of okay. If there are any issues, we return no data with a bad request. For sign up, what we do is we make a post request to this endpoint here, and we use the private key to create a new user. 
we construct a request body with the following body builder here and then generate the response when the user gets created, map it to JSON, which is right here, and return that new user with the HTTP status OK. And in order to run this app, all you'll need to do is copy the code for user controller Java, which I'll also link in the description, replace the project ID and the private key with your own values, and then CD into server spring or your own project, run a Maven clean install with the dependencies that are necessary, also within this project, and then run Maven spring boot run. And another thing to note is that within my project settings or application properties, I set the port to be 3001. So this should generate any second now. It looks like our spring project is running. And if we go into the full stack chat project, you can see some example requests here that should now work. So I already created a user called Adam in my chat engine project. So you can see that the response is okay. And if I create a user with a new username like Zach123, his own password, email, and name, I can send that request as well. And you can see that that got generated here with the username of Zach123. So this Spring server is now operational and will create users on Chat Engine. And moment of truth, if I log in as Zach123 now through my server REST file, you can see that Zach123 has also been retrieved from the database. So this Spring Boot now works. And in the last step of this video, let's just connect our React project to our Chat Engine server and give every user access to this chat functionality, which we just put them on in this step right here. Now for the easy part. Since I gave you that Java file that will give all of your users access to Chat Engine, we can use one of their NPM components like this one here, which is a pre-built chat UI for React. As you can see, this is a rather pretty UI, which natively connects to your Chat Engine project, as you can see here. To try this out, either install this component into your React project or follow along with the full stack chat project again in the description. If you go into client React, SRC, and then chats page, you can see an example of this pretty chat window below. All you have to do to make it work is declare the component and then instantiate it with the following props. You'll need to pass in your own project ID and you can either pass in the user's username and password as props like I did here, or hard code their values just to try it out. In order to run this project, you'll have to set up your own project ID here or use a .m file and then CD into client react and run npm install and npm run start. When you do these two things, you should be fully good to go. So now what we have after the command completed is a React app running on localhost 3000. And if we make the API call to log in with Adam pass 1234, it will make that API call to port 3001, which our Spring app is running on. It will fetch the data from Chat Engine and pre-populate all of those chat histories. And then we'll be good to do everything like set up new chats with a few users click submit, and we're good to go. That's it. So from the top, we set up a Chat Engine project on chatengine.io, which is our very own chat server. On our Spring Boot app, we made some API calls to give all of our users access to the Chat Engine project, which we set up. And then on the front end, we installed one of their pre-built UIs so that our React project now connects to Chat Engine and hosts all of these chat rooms, message histories, WebSocket connections, etc. That's why we can set everything up so quickly and how we can make such an eloquent app in such a short amount of time. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm going to be sharing all the code there as well. And hopefully this saves you a bunch of time and a bunch of hassle. So appreciate it.